Hello everyone. Today I want to introduce how to mod a balloon expansion. And in this model, I will use fluid cavity to simulate um, the expansion of a balloon. So here is the result. And the balloon is made of rubber. I say air float in the balloon and start to expand. And the fluid cavity is uh, which is a fluid element. And we can to remove that to see our stress clearly. So first we need to create a geometry of this balloon, and this is a simple evolution. And here is the section of the revolution uh, operation. And here I, I don't need any any dimensions, just to create a plane on this uh, on the right of the axis. So, with the 316 degrees revolution, here is the result. And next, we need to create a rubber property. And the rubber property, we use the hyperelastic model. And here, we use money riveling model. And this is the parameters of this model and then we need to create a se section of the rubber and here we define the thickness of the rubber as two millimeters and the material is the rubber we created then we assign the section to this part. In the next module, we just create an instance of balloon and assembly. Then we create a step, which is a static general step. And here we need to switch on the nonlinear geometry. And we give the increment size of 0 0.01 and the maximum increment size 0 0.05. In the interaction module, we create a fluid cavity and give it a pressure to make the balloon expand. So, to create a fluid cavity, first we need to create a reference point, and second, we need to create a inner surface of the cavity. So, I create a reference point in the inner space of the balloon, and I have created a surface of the Of the balloon and its inner face. Then we can create a fluid cavity property here. We 
because the fluid is air, so I just create a pneumatic definition. And I did this market with a 0 0.0289. Then we can create a fluid cavity in the interaction. First, we select the correct covered point, and then we select a surface we have created here. So, after we selected the covered point and the covered surface. We need to define the fluid cavity property we just have created and give ambient pressure. So in the output, we want to get the volume and pressure variation of this fluid cavity. So we need to create a history output. First, we need to create a set for the reference point here. Then, in the step module, in the history output, we create a history output for the set reference point. Here, we select the PCV hydrostatic fluid pressure and hydrostatic fluid cavity volume these two variables means the fluid pressure and the volume of the fluid cavity then we create a bundle condition we just need to fix this End of surface here, yeah. and then we need to create a fluid pressure for the bloom, which means the pressure and the bloom is increasing, or the air is float in in the fluid cavity. So we create the pressure with 300 kilopass. Here we need to give the fluid cavity interaction. Then we need to create the mesh and we just use the use S for our element type. Then we can create a model and a job and submit it. Then we can get this result. This is the stress and the displacement and the thickness of the rubber. Because the area is increased, so the thickness of the rubber is decreased, especially in the dumb part. We remove the mesh lens. So, displacement, and I create a new viewport. In this report, I will create the plot of the pressure of the fluid cavity because we just defend the pressure increase in the load boundary. So the pressure is increased, has increased to 300 kilopass. Then the volume will increased at the same time because the bloom will expand 
So this is the volume curve of the balloon. You can see that the volume almost get doubled during the step. So here is a simple in case how to simulate the balloon expand but the fluid cavity doesn't consider the flow into the cavity it just sinks the cavity with uniform distribution of pressure and temperature But at some cases, it is useful. So thank you. If you're interested in RQC, please subscribe my channel and give a thumb.